Hey everybody, Ann here in the tiny house having my coffee. Got a beautiful fire going. I cooked a big pot of chicken and rice last night. It was delicious. Fed some to the puppies and there's a lot of leftovers this morning. So I cracked a dozen eggs into it and I've cooked it up. It's just over there cooling right now. I'm going to feed it to the chickens. It's going to be a busy day today. I get to go to Tractor Supply Company today and pick up an order that I just placed for curbside pickup. 50 pounds, uh, 40 or 50 pounds chicken feed, like 40 or 50 pounds of dog food, and 40 pounds of deer corn. And that is all have been made possible by you guys, so that's awesome. Um, and I'm going to do some mystery shopping while in town, so I don't know, maybe I'll take you along, maybe I won't. It will be kind of hard to take you along mystery shopping, because you kind of got to be discreet, you know what I mean? Um, anyhow, so I got to get going. I went into town, got all my shopping done. I went to Tractor Supply and got uh, chicken food, dog food, corn. Um, I did some mystery shopping. I hit up the dollar store and I made some decent money mystery shopping today. And I will talk to you guys about the apps that I use, but I'm just going to wait a little bit longer just to see that... Um, they don't end up throttling me like a lot of other apps do and I'll explain that later but I also picked up something else and I would not have gotten these unless I had gotten the extra money um, doing the mystery shopping and I didn't spend very much but don't touch me I'll I'll show you what I got once I get home got me a big old bag of chicken feed big old bag of deer corn I think that's 40 pounds this is 50 pounds Look at that huge bag. My dogs love this stuff. I pulled up to Tractor Supply Company and there was somebody there selling rabbits and chickens. These are, let me see if I can open it. They're already drinking. These are a mix of, uh, they said blue and black copper moran. Um, they don't know the sexes, hopefully. <laughs> At least one of them is a hen, but they were only $5 a piece and they're eight weeks old. I have brought them inside and I've kind of like encased this in cardboard. Um, I'm going to try and put, I don't know if I can put a little perch in there, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I got these two chickens. There's a chance this one might be a rooster. I don't know. He doesn't, he doesn't, or she, <laughs> listen to me, I'm already calling it a he. Um, their combs are kind of the same size. I'm not seeing any saddle feathers yet. They've got the same kind of neck feathers. Sorry, I'm not filming very good because I'm just looking at these two beautiful chickens. So, um, yeah, they're thirsty. Um, I've had them in the truck in a little box until I could get this set up. But two new babies. I'm going to keep them in here for at least another week. Even though they're eight weeks old, they got all their feathers. Um, you know what, I still want to make sure they're going to be healthy and okay to add with the other chickens. So, let's start thinking of names, guys. Oh, you guys are thirsty. I'm so sorry you had a rough trip. Welcome to Anne's Tiny Farmstead. <laughs> Homestead, whatever. Oh, they're eating and drinking just fine. I got new babies, guys. Listen to their little chirps. This is so cool. I made them a little perch. Yeah, it's pretty close down to the ground because the heat mat is underneath of it. And I put a little light on the subject as well. I may get one of those hanging bulbs and put it down in there eventually, but they're settling down. They've been eating and drinking. So I'm just going to watch them for a week or so. And if they're still doing good, not have any problems, don't look sick or whatever, I'm going to put them out in the, uh, I think the coop with, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I don't know if you guys can see this, but they got feathers on their feet. I guess that, that's what this breed has. Let's see if we can, can you see that over there? Feathers. Look at that. Come on, let me see your feet. <laughs> I know you can't see it there. There, you can see that one right there. It's got feathers on its legs too. 
Oh my gosh, I've never had a chicken like that. Oh, that is so cool. They certainly are pretty. I need to do some reading up on the blue and black Morans. The lady said she wasn't sure if one was blue or one was black or... Um, but she said they were blue and black copper Morans. So, I guess I'm going to have to do some reading on that to find out everything I need to know about them. Yeah, they got quite a bit of feathers, but I'll still feel comfortable if I keep them inside for a little while. I'm just sitting here in the tiny house looking looking over them. Their, their thing is right next to my chair that I sit in. Um, and they're just delightful. They're just... They'll, they're not like flighty. They let me touch them and get next to them. They're not, they don't freak out when I put my hands in the, in the cage. I think these are going to be great chickens. I, I'm pretty sure that they're both hens. Um, I can usually tell. It's kind of weird, but I can usually tell. Um, but if they're not, that's okay. Um, I hear they make great meat birds. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm just, I am just so totally thrilled about this. So, um, I'm going to sit here for a little bit longer, then I'm going to go out and see the other chickens. I've already fed them a couple times today. Um, and play with the puppies, and I'll get back with you later. Look at Tammy. Look at what I got from the dollar store. 60 candles. And I just shoved it in there, along with that one that has a piece of yarn in it. And it, it works perfect. It is absolutely perfect for this size. It's very small. Um, I could still use them for this size, but I'll just put less stuff in them. But they're also going to be a good size for this right here. So I'm just going to let this burn and see how long these little tiny ones burn. I've got one more empty of these size jars, and I think I've got two more to empty out. So, and I like the glass because the glass kind of, whoopsie, the glass kind of, you know, helps the light shine through so yeah Tammy that was a great idea definitely basically 60 wicks for a buck can't beat that I'm still sitting here I'm in like in between the wood burning stove and my new baby chicks little brooder box that I made out of cardboard and half of that other chicken coop that Miss Donna sent me um I'm just I'm just thrilled I'm happy yeah, Papa's been in a bad mood, so I sent him outside. I think I've got, I think i got a, yeah, i got a puppy over there. I think there's one underneath the bed. But uh, I'm likely just to kind of hover over these chickens for a little while. They don't need it. I just, I'm just looking at them, studying them, and I'm reading up on the black and blue copper moran breed. And it does look like I've got two hens, so. Um, Anyhow, it's been a great day. Thank you all, and thank you for the additional people that have sent me PayPal donations. I got your name on the list at the end. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.